were serious before when you said you wanted to help Bronca, huh? I'm Ogren. I don't know if you remember. People seem to forget me these days. Or ignore. I forget which. <laughs> I'm still her husband. More than that, I'm the only one who cares about her as a person. Not some symbol to leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You, I assume, know whatever Harrowmont's men have dug up on where exactly she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. It's the Deep Roads. I'll kill Darkspawn. Outside of that, what difference does it make? Bronca was a brilliant girl, but half the time she'd add two and two and make it fifty. <laughs> you want to find her, you need someone who knows how she thinks. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void, the secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Carradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Carradine's cross. No one's seen that Taig for five hundred years. If Harrowmont tracked it down, it's only because he's got whole teams of loyal soldiers who can do the searching for him. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen, but there's more out there. What's this? A human? Did we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. Open your eyes, man! This Grey Warden is on a quest to find your paragon! Do I have to take your stinking head off? Ogren could have been a desher for House Branca. I suppose he's the next best thing in both skill and arrogance. You may pass. I'd offer more assistance, but my command post is here. All of Ozama relies on us to hold this line. Your guess is as good as mine. No one's been there in centuries, but both Balin and Harrowmount had men looking just this week. Best of luck. These used to be highways as busy as any surface trade route. Looks like only the military travel here now. Sensing more dark spawn. A fine blow! <laughs> Ah, a 
Another battle speeds our way. <laughs> Down you go. I like it. Battle speeds our way. <laughs> of course. Another creature ahead. Cross. I can't believe Harrowmont actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. Not a one. But trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Taig. She was going to Keridan's home. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. Well, look what we have here. A couple of Haramont's little lackeys. Let's show them who's king! Oh! Just get along. No? Oh! Oh! Ah! Down you go! Run in what a mess. And so I shall. What? You're you're drunk, aren't you? Hey, hey. Was that a question? Didn't sound like a question. How in the Maker's name do you manage to be constantly drunk? Are we even carrying that much alcohol with us? Jealous, huh? <laughs> a little, yes. Why can't I be drunk all the time? I never get to be drunk. You know, if you drank more wine, you'd whine much less. <laughs> So I shall. I should like a trophy. Time to end this. Let's have at it. Little Finally, we get to the good <laughs> You're gonna pay! Oh no, you don't do it! I'm gonna it! 
there was a man in the village who reminded me of the drunken dwarf. They had some dwarfs just like me, huh? <laughs> no, none of the dwarfs were similar. They were quiet and respected, more or less. No, the one I remember was a human. He vomited in the street constantly. Then he wandered into a snowstorm and froze to death. Huh? And how was that like me? Did I say similar? I meant I hoped he was similar. I think I had a wife like you once. This looks like the right way out. Horton Taig. It won't be long now. I'm sensing more dance. Now this should be amusing. And so I shall. How does God, let's get some blood. Let's tread the fire. That's right, man. Oh, I see. Aha! So I shall. One more, I shall do it. And stay down. Shame about the face. Such talent. You will be satisfied with my foot. for you here. It's mine. I've claimed it. You've come to take my claim. You surfaces are all alike. Thieving scoundrels. Well, I found it first. Bah. He's a bloody scavenger. Good as sod and gone. Be gone, you. You'll bring the Dark Ones back, you will. Then they'll crunch your bones. Word has it you could only survive down here by eating the Dark Spawn dead. It brings the taint, turns their brains to sewage, but it hides them from the dark spawn. It's my claim, not yours! Crunch your bones! And so I shall. This is mine! Only I get to plunder its riches! No! No talking! You leave my territory! You... you won't take anything from Ruck? You won't take his shiny worms? Or, or pretty rocks? Oh! Ruck not mind that, maybe. Yes, Ruck's my name. I do not hear it much, so sometimes I like to speak it out loud. <laughs> Ruck! 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 No, 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 no filter, no mother, no warm blanket and stew and pillow and soft words! Ruck doesn't deserve good memories. No, 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 no! She, she did not know, not what I did. I was very, 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 very angry, and, and then someone was dead, and, and they wanted to send Ruck to the mines. If I went to the mines, she, she would know. Everyone would know. So I came here instead. Once you eat, once you take in the darkness, you not miss the light so much. You know, do you not? Ruck sees. <laughs> yes, he sees the darkness inside you. Gray like the stone, guardian against the darkness. When the Dark Ones were here, I kept to the shadows. 
They don't look in the shadows. Not if you're quiet. Not if you eat their flesh. Then the Dark Ones think you're one of them. They leave you alone. But now they're gone. I think they went south. Far, far to the south. That, that is where the Dark Master calls them. Hmm. He's talking about the Archdemon, huh? After the Dark Master awoke, he called his children and they all went. I wanted to go too and gaze upon his beauty. He stopped calling. I wish I could go see him, but Ruck, no, no, Ruck, Ruck is a coward. The crawlers, they used to eat the smallest dark ones. Now the crawlers go hungry. I will answer your questions. Bits of things, but only bits. The crawlers they took almost everything. They, they take things of steel and things of paper. They take the shinies and the words. Paper and words? That sounds like someone was taking notes. Do you think Bronca camped here? They bring to the great nest, the nest they makes for the eggs. They put the shinies inside, they do. Too long ago, I must think, five years, six. Ruck no longer remembers the smells and sights of the city. Enjoy your tainted mud, you poor sodding duster. It's not so bad. The dark and the burning keeps Ruck warm. Warm like mother's arms. Get away from me, you sodding freak! Look at him. He's like a pale mudworm. He should have been sent to the mines. Instead, he chose this. I'd put him out of his misery. Nothing. He's lost to nothing. He's a... Uh, yeah, you're right. He's not worth it. Let's just go. Then I have done what you wished. Ruck answered your questions. Then you will go? You will leave Ruck to his claim? Looks like that bone picker is living in Bronca's old camp. Did you see the marks on the floor? There are a lot of people in fires there once. Those must be Bronca's papers he said were taken by the spiders. Nothing that fragile would be left from the tag. was cut asunder, and revealed my hiding place. Speak your intention. Seek you vengeance, or reward. My deception was convenience, not cowardice. A fight you want, a fight you shall have.
Delighted. Bronco was thinking about me. I knew she still cared. Old softy. Looks like the Dead Trenches is our next stop then. They say the Darkspawn nests there. Whole herds of them. But if that's where Bronco went, then that's where I'm going. And so I shall. All right. When the throne is settled, we'll beat them to their vile birthing grounds! Atrasvala, Grey Warden. I've never seen one of your kind in the deep roads. I recognize a fighter of Darkspawn. It marks you. It's why we in the Legion of the Dead abandon our lives so we can face them without fear. It's a sacrifice I understand Grey Wardens are familiar with. What do you want here, Warden? Who put this dull idea in your head? We got other things to worry about in Orzammar. Ah, now I see. The Deep Lords in the Assembly can't make up their minds, so the Pretenders need added influence. I get that right? Warden, you've got your work cut out for you. Paragon Branca is dead, everyone with sense knows it. Past our line, the Darkspawn kill everything. I'd gladly lead an assault through the dead trenches, but without an ass in the throne, we have no orders. I won't take fool's gold from a pretender. You want to go digging blind? You go right ahead.
Like dusters, I've heard of respect. Never seen it. And if it exists, it wasn't meant for me. But if you're looking for paragons, you may as well look for the anvil. And endless lyrium. Why? The other kingdoms only care when the dark spawn march in the light. But they are always here. Always pushing. Your nightmare is my every day. Our resolve gives you a rest between blights. A surge on the surface would give us a break. When the time comes, I'll care for a good dwarven reason. Sod the rest. We die in the eyes of our brothers so we can fight without fear. It offers redemption for the promise of the greatest sacrifice. That's all you need to know. To say more invites judgment. Or worse, imitation. Let us know if you find any paragons. You're as likely to find a dozen as one. And Warden, watch yourself. Drunks make poor allies. Fight the blight one side. Of course. All right. You. Second day, they beat us and eat some from meat. Fifth day, they return and it's another girl's turn. Sixth day, her screams we hear in our dreams. Seventh day, she grew as in her mouth they spew. Eighth day, we hate it as she is violated. Ninth day she grins and devours her kin. Now she does feast as she's become the beast. First day they come and catch everyone. Second day they beat us and eat some from meat. Third day the men are all gnawed on again. Fourth day we wait and fear for our fate. Fifth day they return, and it's another girl's turn. Sixth day, her screams we hear in our dreams. Seventh day, she grew as in her mouth they spew. Eighth day, we hate it as she is violated. Ninth day, she grins and devours her kin. Now she does feast as she's become the beast. First day they come and catch everyone. Second day. What is this? A human? Bland and unlikely. Feeding time brings only kin and clan. I am cruel to myself. You are a dream of strangers' faces and open doors. And others. Fresh, not those who turn. Killed right here. And we're fed. Laren first, but I am filled. I am... All I could do was wish Laren went first. I wished it upon her so that... I would be spared. But I had to watch. I had to see the change. How do you endure that? How did Bronca endure? Do not talk of Bronca, of what she did. 
Ancestors preserve us. Forgive me. I was her captain. And I didn't stop her. Her lover and... I could not turn her. Forgive her. But no. She cannot be forgiven. Not for what she did. Not for what she has become. No more than a few breaths, but longer than an eon. It was long enough. Long enough to miss her. To love her again. To hate her more than ever. No. I swore not to speak of it. Not to think of it. La, 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 la. I will not hear any more about Branca. No! Don't leave me here. Don't let them take me. I will not become what I have seen. Not Laren. Not Branca. What happened here? Branca has to explain this. She has to. She became obsessed. That is the word, but it is not strong enough. Blessed Stone, there was nothing left in her but the anvil. It appears we will need to fight the Blight one at a time. Of course. As you desire. Now this Let's should be amusing. Fallen into dust by now. They made her eat the others, our friends. She tore off her husband's and face so I shall. and drank his blood. And while she ate, she grew. She swelled and turned gray, and she smelled like them. They remade her in their image. Then she made more of them. Brood mother.
sensing more darkness. Delighted. How fast! Come, let's get some fun! Say your prayers! And so I shall. Let's have a dance! But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Branca, my love. The stone has punished me, dream friend. I am dying of something worse than death. Betrayal. Because anywhere, this has to be it. She will not be unprepared. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf! Bronca, by the stone! I barely recognized you! Ogryn. It figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogren's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Enrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Then what is your involvement in this? Why would a surfacer be interested in dwarven politics? You must have a patron. A highly placed patron. And they must want something in particular. Now, what might that be? I don't care if the assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the anvil of the void. Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, 
I must first have the anvil. There is only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Caradon's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute, and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. I needed people to test Keridan's traps. There's no way to break through except by trial and error. I sent them in. They were all mine, pledged to be my house, and they, they tried to leave me, even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices, as many sacrifices as are needed. She swore she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already. But some, some of the women were transforming. I knew it. It appears that you need to fight the blight one at a time. Fresh, dark spot. Delighted. As you desire. Of course. Oh, right. Delightfully, I'm 
My name is Karab. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Caradin, the paragon smith, alive? Ah, there is a voice I recognize. Shell, the house of Kadash, step forward. You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Ah, it has been so long. I made you into the golem you are now, Shale. But before that you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the Void, here in this very room, and put you into the form you now possess. The Anvil of the Void? That is what we seek. If you seek the Anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone, as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied, and soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused, and so Valtor had me put on the anvil next. Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shea. You remained at my side throughout, and at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the Anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The Anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, you fought to destroy the Anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! Speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! So it fights with Caradin? Good. That seems right. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No! You will not take it! Not while I still live! Bronca, don't throw your life away for this! Just give her the blasted thing! She's confused! Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. Bah! 
You're not the only master smith here, Carradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control room! My, my friend! You must help me! I cannot stop her alone! The woman was not able to disable me as she did you, Carradin. I do not know. Have you been altered? I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories, and caused you to remember the time when you fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the Master perished. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman, Shem. I am pleased to see you remain such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me. All of this, this is my doing, my legacy. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Yeah. I don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you? I would not do such a thing to her. Even if I could. Somehow I didn't think so. Well, and I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid you've given me, I shall put hammer to steel one last time. And give you a crown for the king of your choice.
You have my eternal thanks, stranger. A trust in all Tungsha. May you always find your way in the dark. Delighted. All right. thinks I should. It may have something to do with Caradon's words. If there is some way to make a copy of these runes, I am willing to study them. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned from them, I know not. <sighs> Names. Long list of dwarves. Wait, hold on. We honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's a memorial of all the dwarves who became golems. Has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzmar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. Mm, probably both. Pretty much beat the sod out of how I imagined it. You ready to head back yet and share the news? Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order! This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now! My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? Keridan was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Keridan forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. And we are supposed to trust this? The word of a drunken sot and a Grey Warden known to be in Harrowmont's pocket? Silence! This crown is of Paragon make and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Orzammar. I will not abide by this! The ancestors have spoken!
Would you let a surfacer decide the fate of the dwarves? Watch out! They brought weapons! Guards! Couldn't we all Two just arms. get along? Attack! Attack. Uh, the I admit I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon, nor that so many would follow him. But most of Orzammar has seen him for what he really is, and I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. Indeed, more than anyone but my wife, Warden, and I thank you for it. Those loyal to the throne will begin preparations for a surface mission immediately. Orzammar will fulfill its treaties. Thank you, King Haramont. Perhaps your rule will mark a new era for Orzammar. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. This is the staff I carried as King Endrin's second. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. Your role in this election will long be remembered, Warden. I was thinking, we've come to know each other fairly well during our time in the Deep Roads. You're bloody fearsome for a human. <laughs> And I'm a warrior without a house to defend. Wandering about killing Darkspawn with a sodding Grey Warden sounds like just the thing to keep me occupied. So what do you say? Eh, <laughs> more than that. It'll cost me my house to take a trip like this. But I don't have a bleeding house to begin with, so who cares? I'm better off up there with you than down here where the sodding children laugh at me. And glad I am to hear it. You won't regret it. <laughs> now do any of these sad sacks following you around know the first thing about making ale? Eh, uh, never mind. You can stop with the glaring. I'll ask him myself. Grey Warden, you have impressed the best of us. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the Darkspawn properly. Nay, our place is down here. When you break the Blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. You alone have the skill to back up your words. Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death, but if our lives are better shed on the surface, so be it. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. You've returned. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Did you learn anything about my ruck? Oh, my poor boy. I... I guess I knew, but... I just wish I could have seen him one last time. Here. This is my husband's masterwork, the first shield he smithed. I... don't have anyone to save it for anymore. I'd like you to have it, for what you risked to bring me this news. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Of course! I... I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Taig? You... you found them? Let me see. 
That's my great-grandmother's name. And her husband. Oh, great ancestors, it's them. It's me. I am an Ortan. Oh, thank you. I have to take these to the assembly right away. Find me there. Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward. Impressive work, Warden. King Harriman's impending coronation has been entered into the memories. Is there something more I can help you with? What's this? A list of names. Most of these clans no longer even exist. Is this authentic? You bet your hairy arse it is. Taken from a tablet in Keridan's fortress, no less. Then is it true? The rumors of Keridan's so-called volunteers? Extraordinary! I would love to make a copy of this. The Shaperit has never had much information on Keridan and his golems, much less proof of this magnitude. Warden, I hope this artifact from our archives will suffice as a reward. I must inform the Shaperit at once. My name's Orta. After the old Orton house, they gave our seat back. And the records show which houses still owe House Orton money. One day, I will be able to properly thank you for all you've done for me. And I don't know what treasure is left, but whatever I get, you can have as much as you want. I'll have to find someone willing to look. Maybe a whole expedition. If the Taig is still there, it must have something. House Orton will not forget this kindness. <laughs> Didn't that sound official? News of the hour. All hail King Pyral Harumont. The worthiest dwarf has ascended. Well, I see what sort of company you've taken up. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. I am told that it lost a large number of comrades in the battle with the Darkspawn. Me? I guess I did, yes. I didn't know all of them that well, however. Mostly just Duncan. I'm unfamiliar with this name. It's... it's not important. You don't need to know who he was. I cannot remember if I ever had anyone important to me. All I remember is being given orders. I would gladly be following Duncan's orders right now, if I could. It enjoys following others. I find that odd. You wouldn't understand. Don't worry, I don't expect you to. Give me a moment. Of course everything's all right. Uh, just give me one sodding moment. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Strange? <laughs> Strange is your wife turning out to prefer the ladies, not living in a world without a bleeding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, daylight. <laughs> 